Welcome back everyone to episode 5 now. I had to break this up and like in the middle of a recording of a full recording of episode 4 and episode 5 in one video, so I had to break it up, do a bit of editing, which I'm always loath to do. But anyways, I I put us up on the narwhal class for the unit reference just to prove, I guess verify that uh, yeah, we do have a toad array. And compared to Los Angeles class, which is the best of the best, and BBB, QQ-5, I guess this would be Alpha November, Bravo, Quebec, Quebec 5. Um, yeah, so we have that exact same. The only difference between these two, as you can see, is just the search radar, or possibly like the ESM mast as well. Um, the, basically the mast equipment, the ESM might be different as well, I don't know. Maybe it's identical, but the, the um, underwater detection kit it looks like is the same for both the narwhal and the los angeles so uh, that's it without further ado let's jump into the the defense of a fleet invasion by the russians have they seen me because this area the demar Strait, that's where the bismarck was uh <clears throat> engaged with the hood and i think that's very deep water So three days, has it been three days? 28 December. I don't think it's been three days yet. So what, do we just go after some secondary targets in, our, in the meantime? Maybe. Well, this could be it, so let's go ahead and speed up and get this guy. Okay. All right, uh, bearing 56 and battle stations. Back down to slow right away. Looks like it's deep, deep enough. Very noisy, which is not good. Basically, noisier favors active, which I'm not a fan of. But 56, so they should be north of me. No, I'm basically on this heading, okay? We've got somebody at 26 already. Let's figure out what we're up against. Um, this is a surface fleet of some kind. Looks like it is my landing fleet force. Oh, well, that's interesting. Nice and deep, at least. I like that. Not quite. Okay, there's a cache in. Wouldn't that be nice if it was a... <laughs> Mavska. I still haven't gotten revenge for losing my uh, skipjack to one of those. Not quite, but that looks like it's it. Not an alligator. Which makes sense. And Guima. And we're back. Wait, is that all of them? Okay. Guess so. Well, let's play. Let's play from down here. First priority will be this. Cash in. Let's open this. It's nice to. Come on. There. And that is not that great of a defensive ship. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Sierra 5. It has probably an escort, considering it's quiet. Quiet enough to avoid detection on the first round, at least. Be wrong. Not quite. Close, but not quite. Aha. That's my arch nemesis again, the Canaan. She is close. So let's actually turn north, because the only two I'm interested in actually keeping tabs on are the Canaan and the Cashin. If we split the difference, our toad array should be able to track both. Um, we're getting pinged from the Anguima? Nope. That's Sierra 6. Uh, what are you? Besides an escort. Uh, they have all gone crazy, so somebody's got me. No, this is an Anguima. How, how the, what the hell is... Oh, we have Sierra 7. Okay, this makes more sense. Are we going north yet? Nearly. Let's keep that turn a little bit looser. This is certainly an escort then. 
I'll eat my shorts if it isn't. My shorts don't taste good. Please don't make me eat my shorts. Come on, I know it though. It is, yeah. Okay. Um, wish I actually knew what this is, but these are, this is dangerous. Okay, that is very, very, very dangerous. That is playing with fire type dangerous. I think we're gonna have to start launching here. <laughs> So we're getting a good idea on where this cannon is. That's the one I want next. Bring that up. Confidence is reasonable. Go to the surface. Uh, 65. Okay, go active just because. And you know what? Launch now and uh, we're going to do a little bit of an adjustment. Let's get our next target. We could just launch into the mess. But I think I want to get this cache over here, so let's do this. Surface. Uh, don't need to go active with the cache in. You're going to be just fine without that. Okay. Don't break this wire. This is the important thing. And like so. A Sierra 8, okay, well, yeah. These, am these invasion fleets are just a really chocked full of escorts, aren't they? Need something right here. Yeah. Yes. The cache is great. <sighs> okay, the cache we don't need to worry about. That is definitely old. Okay, we're getting pinged now. Oh, that's not the ping from us, though. That's the ping from our lovely torpedo. Which is actually extremely close to our ship. Uh, okay, three is on the way. That cache in could be a lot closer than we think, so let's just have it. The bearing should be 342, so let's make it 342 like here. Like that. Okay, another cache in. So let's just keep turning. We're gonna want to move, I think, out of here to the west anyway. We got the cache in. That alligator's really close. You know, maybe we should. Eh, we're gonna have to break the wire to do any kind of real engagements here. I'm gonna go steady as she goes. Level out our, our basically rudder or midship. Uh, this cashin is crazy. She either has not noticed where we are, or I mean, has not noticed the torpedo coming in towards her, or she's trying some very, very crazy, desperate evasive maneuver. She should be turning already if she didn't know it existed. So she, I mean, if she knew it existed. So she just doesn't know it exists. And it's going to be a bad day for her. Okay, that one's breaking up. Good. One down. Four more to go. If, I'm not, if I lost my count correctly. <laughs> uh, okay, this cash in. We have what kind of confidence? 87%. We actually know where she is. Good. So that's good. Um, we need to get this Kara, is really the one I'm missing. How are we doing? Are we being attacked at all? We are still unknown to them, I think. Let's figure out how unknown things are. Give me a ship that which can actually target me. Okay. Wow, the Cashians just don't <laughs> they just don't know anything. But that's why I want the other ones. And of course they wouldn't know anything from this far away. The Kara is the one I want. Give me the Kara back. I'm pretty sure that's a goner. She's actually turning into the torpedo as well. Um, I think right now we're just going to speed... Oh, wait. Is there... There are helicopters. Balls. Dang it. There's one thing that can get me. It's the damn helicopters. Oh. Well, they're going after the sinking ship. Which makes sense. That's actually pretty cool if they actually respond to the sinking ship. But that means I'm over here somewhere. Although very deep and actually... Oh, there I am. Okay. We might not actually be audible to the uh, dipping sonar. There's no layer to help us, but I guess that works both ways. We should be able to hear the other ships better too. Although I think that I would prefer I would prefer really quiet with the strong um, layer. I mean, layers are usually <laughs> in general always helpful for submarines. So, whoops! I just canceled that one a little too quick, but that's fine. It looks like it's it already knows what it's doing. We don't have any control of this one, but I'm pretty sure she knows how to get to her target from the very 
slight different distance of probably, what is that, like 100 yards now? Noise makers, okay. Well, pretty sure that she'll be able to take care of the job anyway. Um, something to consider, actually. Oh, we have the care back. This is the one I'd like to focus on, if you don't mind. 12% solution. Hmm. And how are the helicopters doing? And they only have the one. She is moving away from us. I believe. Oh, got our hit. Thank you for showing me that game. Okay, there's that hit now. Ah, oh, there we are. They're looking. Nothing yet, though. Thankfully. Uh, no, there's really nothing to... S there's nothing wrong, I think, with just launching into the pile here. We do want to hit the Kara, and the Kara should be the first thing it acquires. So, you know what? And this alligator is pretty darn close, too, but that makes it an easier target later. Let's get this Kara. The Kara bearing is basically due north. So let's just launch at that bearing uh, kind of preemptively. And we'll, we'll, I, you know what? We're going to come in from a bit of an angle, too. So let's do it like this. I'm hoping not to lose this one in terms of the wire. Uh, we want it to go to the surface, and for these Karas, they're very noisy, so we don't... I'm going to leave passive detection on for our uh, guidance system, our terminal guidance system. Fancy verbiage, terminal guidance system. I just mean that after it goes active, or, well, it doesn't... It goes active, quote-unquote, but basically... Oh, we got Krivak, so it's a Krivak instead. Wait, Sierra 8 was misidentified then. <clears throat> that actually makes sense. That's the last one I identified. I, I was not <laughs> dotting my I's and crossing my T's as much on that one. So anyways, I want you to go like very wildly this way and then swing back. Because I have an idea that this Cashin is actually where, I mean this Kara is actually where she says she is, considering she's so noisy. How could we not know where she is, right? And let's actually... Um, Pull ourselves a little more westward, slight turn port side, uh, just to give us a slightly better um, firing solutions on these guys. I'm not sure if that's modeled in, but if it is, we want to track how much uh, moving parallel to them moves our bearing on them. <clears throat> so, even more if you don't mind. Hopefully, I just hope that this doesn't... Yeah, we have a really good solution on her now. I wanted to come in from an angle. <clears throat> Let's actually get all of ours to go to the surface, since that's obviously what all of them are going to have to do. This lucky alligator. Yeah, I mean, it's going to get its due eventually. In fact, you know what? Let's start loading up a harpoon, because I... Might be getting ahead of myself here, but I feel like we're we have a pretty good uh, lock on the situation. We just sink this carrot, we sink the Krivak, game over. And that looks good. Okay, now let's line up the next shot, which is our final torpedo shot at the Krivak. Yeah, something like this should work. Krivak. 70 is noisy enough, I'd say. So let's go ahead and launch here. Go to the surface. You need a little time to go to the surface, so like so. All right. We have not changed our depth since this uh, mission began. <laughs> we have changed our depth, or our heading slightly, but not much else. Okay, Kara, we do have a good solution on you. I actually want to zoom in on this torpedo. I want to make sure that she is going to go by this. Yep, she is. Because she is passive. She's detecting with passive, so she could actually hear the explosions on this. But considering she's going to go to the surface... Actually, no, she's not, because the surface for her doesn't mean anything. <laughs> There's no layer. I forgot about this. <laughs> that is interesting. So we'll have to guide her manually to the surface. Um, yeah, I think it's time for her to go active already. 
I want to see if she does pick this thing up or not. It should be outside of her cone, her radar cone, or, you know, sensor cone. We're not using sonar, that's what I meant by radar. Yeah, I think we can even speed up here, but of course we need to watch out. Where is this thing dipping? Is it dipping anywhere near us? I can't see us. Oh, yeah, we're actually kind of close. Um, probably not close enough to be cut. Uh, who knows? Well, let me just drop down and give us a little bit more depth, which is, and it looks like that one has correctly acquired her target. Very good. Um, after this, we want to actually go to the surface. Well, okay, let's just, um, uh, which one is this? Number one. Let's shift four and reload. Shift four cuts the cable. And let's get one at this alligator. Now, I don't see any way around it. We're just simply going to have to use harpoons. And that means we're going to have to deal with this damn helicopter at some point. Which is unfortunate, but... Um, I guess what we might as well do is induce the launch from the helicopter. So let's move towards her. Which, where, where is she? She just moved. Where is she in relation to ships? Where is she in relation to my submarine? Oh, basically right under me. Great. I mean, over me. We're basically right... Yeah, exactly. So let's go ahead and drop down a little bit lower. I just want enough time to react. And then we're going to go flank speed. And we're going to get this over with. We're going to... Oh, that, there it is. We did not see transient in the water or anything, too. But there it is. Now let's test our depth. Let's go ahead and test depth. Okay, noise maker. Noise maker number one. Oh, uh, well, you know what? We gotta test our depth in a situation where we actually have depth to test. I think we're gonna hit bottom before we get as deep as I want. Okay, we've got somebody. She's going over. That noisemaker is doing its job. And hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. Is that a second torpedo? False. Alright, well, we're deep. We're about as deep as it gets. Uh, 1500 now. Keep you going. Let's, let's find the bottom of this area. Here's the other one. Actually, let's go steady as she goes and keep diving. Because I don't want to hit this torpedo. And we are nice and deep. I like it. This is what I like about the narwhal. If we were in a Los Angeles class, without question, we would be destroyed right now. But we're not, thankfully. So let's actually come back towards this torpedo. We might be able to go underneath of her. Doesn't look like she's in a zigzag, is she? No, she is. Okay, we're passing 1700, that's about my comfort level. So let's just head back underneath underneath them and contact breaking up for the Krivak. I think that's it. I think that's all the ones we need to be worried about. Uh, Krivak has been reestablished, that's interesting. All right, we're gonna slow down to a head standard so that we don't go underneath these guys too quickly. But that should be all of the torpedo launches we're expecting. In fact, we have so much time to react to new launches, I might even slow down to head slow. I mean, I had one third, basically. And that's what we're going to do. Because we are not detected currently, we can drop down a little bit more even. Silent running. This is it. This is what I like. The narwhal is truly a stealthy... And you must play it as a stealthy ship, because it's not quite fast enough. It's not as fast as the Los Angeles. So I think this is the way you almost have to play it. Now let's see if we can get some contacts back. We are headed right at ships, so you know what? Let's actually turn slightly starboard side and make our heading maybe like 050. The first one's gone. Just wait for the next one. Um, so our Toad Array can start peeking at what's out there. What is left out there? Let us know. A little bit more. 
What is left, by the way? What should be left? Well, nothing. Yeah, in fact, it looks like that's it. Okay. Head flank. We can start catching up with these ships, and you know what? Start loading... Um, our harpoons. So 1745 is the new deepest running I've gone, or I don't know how you say that. Max depth for our ship as a commander. Uh, now we should not have to worry about anything else. So let's get up to the surface and start hunting these guys down. Whew. Uh, turned way too far. There we go. Let's come up a little bit more. We're going to want to start launching. There might be a ninth contact. That's happened before. So right about the time we're going to get to the surface. Yeah, let's slow down a little bit. And let's take this off. We've reestablished contact with some of the ships. Good. Let's get to... Launch depth, which is... Is it 200 or 100? Let's... Ah, yeah. 200 apparently. Okay, great. So let's just start launching. Um, wide cone, let's do the up and down. All right, just launch one this direction. And reload. Let's watch this thing go. Should be able to pick up a target pretty quick, I imagine. I just want to see how much it changes left or right when it acquires. I want to know if I can launch a second one, basically. It looks like it changed left, correct? If it doesn't rise up soon, I'm not sure it acquired something or it might have actually been trying to go on this um, bearing to begin with. Actually, this is it's slightly left of zero. It's basically due north. Okay. Okay, there's a hit, and not a kill. Fortunate. I think that agreement is what we hit. So, well, it doesn't matter what we do. I'm going to launch at this weird angle, I'm trying to sink something else, because it doesn't matter. If we hit the same thing, it wasn't sunk yet anyway, right? So let's see where this new one goes. And by the way, is the helicopter not coming after us? No, it's not. So it's going like this, but it has a wide cone in which to target something. Will it... The question is, will it change... Yeah, it's going after the same one. Okay. That's definitely going to put an end to that one. Let's go flank speed then. And let's get a little bit deeper as well. And we'll also reload. And we can use our, um, I just want to get deep enough so that if something is launched at us, we don't immediately get sunk. <laughs> it's happened before, hasn't it? I'd probably be okay with like 350 for that. That gives me a very short amount of reaction time, but I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about it. I don't know where this thing is. I don't really care too much. Oh, there we are. Oops. Yeah, she might be coming right at us, but what is she going to do anyway? She doesn't have any torpedoes left, right? Yeah, she's busy dipping right next to us. Hello! Cheerio. Pip pip. Toodaloo. So we're just going to storm away. Um, and eventually, after basically I'm, I'd like to do this a little bit longer. So I'm kind of waiting for the other ship to sink. So that when we launch our next harpoon, it doesn't go after the same ship. And this is a really long episode, 43 minutes, but that's fine. We can finish this up hopefully quickly, otherwise this might already be a fifth episode, I don't even know. But I hate editing, so probably it's not, probably it's the same episode. Alright, let's get up to the surface again, 
And let's take our speed back down. I think we're going to stay at the surface for the rest of this uh, mission. I'm going to rely on not being... Uh, rely on the fact that we don't actually... There's nobody else there, essentially. There's no other warships. Okay, so there she goes. Good. Um, actually, I'm going to come down a little bit more. Reestablish a contact with an alligator. All we need to know is her bearing. Okay, bearing 24. Okay, let's go ahead and launch at that then. Launch one. Do the pop up protocol and all that, which I prefer, but that's fine. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, and that one is going down. Let's try to launch at a different bearing. Let's do this narrow. Let's try to get the Anguima this time. Oops. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Up. Go up. Okay, there we go. Now while that one's sinking, let's try to get one off on the Anguima. And flank speed. Is this thing like right next to us, by the way? It is. <laughs> Just fall on us. Probably radioing ahead. Hey, they launched. They launched at you. Be careful. Or really abandoned ship, probably. Ah, that was the angry one. We did get her. So there's only one left. We're going to um, speed ahead for a little ways. And in a little bit, after we think that these are starting to sink, we'll launch our last one. And we might as well start loading things we're going to want after this, because I'm assuming one more will do the trick. Sink, 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 sink. Alright, let's do it. Oh, do we not... Is there two more? Might have been mistaken. Alright, well, launch, you'll hit one of them, right? So, go ahead and launch. Pop-up protocol was engaged for this one. That's a good hit. Breaking up. One more then. Wait, no. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. <laughs> Come on, aircraft nearby. Arrgh. So this is definitely a second episode. I guess I have had to edit things. That's how much I... How much I love my viewers. Yay. I actually do editing. A very simple task, but I, don't, I just don't like to be bothered with it. Alright, well now we just have to get out of the way of this darn annoying helicopter. Which is fine. We'll just do it. We'll go flank speed and maximum speed like this. And <clears throat> go down to this kind of depth. Um, just see where it is. Go the opposite way. Where are you? Where, where am I? Is the question. Probably like right over me. Really can't see where it is though. Well, I might not be close to it. Alright. I am going, yeah, through this mess of ships. Let's turn this way. Now, I should be going through this mess of ships. Be like right below, above me. Can I? Oh, good. I can. I can leave. Fine. Everything sunk. Wow, another good mission for us. Great job. Pleased to hear the expected invasion of Iceland has been repelled. Stand by for further orders. We've done it again. Silver Star to Commander Tortuga Power. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity in... I had a problem with this word last time. 
Intrepidity, in action against the enemies of the United States of America on 29 December 1984. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity, in action against intrepidity in, in action. It's a, it's a tough little phrase, I would say. Commander Tortuga's inspiring initiative and unwavering devotion reflect great credit upon himself and uphold the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Well, thank you again. Iceland stands, of course it does. With Tortuga prowling the waters, there's no stopping us. Um, yeah, I'm going to call this video to a close here, so let's just look at this and let me pause as soon as we get out of this mission thing so I can actually save when I call this video to a close. But let's see what we're doing next. Another at-sea replenishment. Well, I would much prefer this to the invasions. We actually have enough torpedoes, etc. to take care of this. So, that's actually good. How many, by the way, we actually need to know how many... It doesn't just say here, but how many harpoons do we have? I want at least one left for the fleeing ship, whichever one of the, I mean, for the fleet tender that I don't tend to, in, um, intend to engage with a torpedo. One or two ships, Murmansk, momentarily, Greenland Sea. Okay, we know our plan. Let's get this. We have none left. <laughs> there it is. Okay, well, torpedoes for everyone then. Can you want a course, pause. Greenland Sea up here. We just need to dodge out of the way of this guy. But we'll take care of that all in the next episode. So for this one, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.